Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, make your bed and then make mine. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, make your bed and then make mine. Hello, I'm Michael Rosen and you're listening to some poems from the Book of Poems for the Very Young. Now, what's the first thing you hear in the morning? Cars? Your mum? Or this? Every Thursday morning, before you're quite awake, without the slightest warning, the house begins to shake. With a biff, bang, biff, bang, bash, it's the dustman who begins, bang, crash, to empty both the bins of their rubbish and their ash. With a biff, bang, Biff, bang, bash. And then it's out of bed and time to get dressed. Buttons, buttons, I can do up my buttons. I do all my buttons up when I go to town. For I have six buttons, big round buttons. Six buttons on my coat, all coloured brown. Here's someone who finds dressing quite hard. I can put my socks on. I can find my vest. I can put my pants on. I can't do the rest. But really, hardest of all is your hair, isn't it? I despair about hair, with all the fuss for us of snipping and clipping, of curling and twirling, of tying and drying and lopping and flopping, and flurries and worries about strength, the length as it nears the ears or shoulder. When you're older, it turns grey or goes away, or leaves a fuzz. Hair does. What about breakfast? I like having oats and raisins, but on special days, a kipper. Here's someone who likes sugar cake. Sugar cake, sugar cake, bubbling in a pot. Bubble, bubble, sugar cake, bubble, thick and hot. Sugar cake, sugar cake, spice and coconut. Sweet and sticky, brown and gooey. Oh, I could eat the lot. I know somebody who'd like sugar cake. Mrs. Peck Pigeon. Mrs. Peck Pigeon is picking for bread. Bob, Bob, Bob goes her little round head. Tame as a pussycat in the street. Step, step, step go her little red feet. With her little red feet and her little round head, Mrs. Peck Pigeon goes picking for bread. Have you ever watched pigeons? They seem to spend the whole time strutting about, looking for something to eat. And what animal do you think this is? Whisky, frisky, hippity hop, up he goes to the tree top. Whirly, twirly, round and round, down he scampers to the ground. Furly, curly, what a tail, tall as a feather, broad as a sail. Where's his supper? In the shell. Snappy quacky, out it fell. It's a squirrel, isn't it? But as for cats, well, cats sleep anywhere, any table, any chair. Top of piano, window ledge, in the middle, on the edge. Open drawer, empty shoe, anybody's lap will do. Fitted in a cardboard box, in the cupboard with your frocks, anywhere. They don't care. Cats sleep anywhere. Now, did you know that kangaroos are a bit like that as well? Old jumpity bumpity hop and go one was lying asleep on his side in the sun. This old kangaroo, he was whisking the flies with his long glossy tail from his ears and his eyes. Old jumpity bumpity hop and go one was lying asleep on his side in the sun. Old jumpity bumpity hop. Can you say that? Jumpity bumpity hop and go one. Jumpity bumpity hop and go one. Or can you say this? Oliver, Oliver, Oliver Twist, bet you a penny you can't do this. Number one, touch your tongue. Number two, touch your shoe. Number three, touch your knee. Number four, touch the floor. Number five, stay alive. Number six, wiggle your hips. Number seven, jump to heaven. Number eight, bang the gate. Number nine, walk the line. Number ten, start again. I think this one's a bit easier. Acabaca soda cracker, Acabaca four. Acabaca soda cracker, knock on Acker's door. 
Akabaka soda cracker, Akabaka four. Akabaka soda cracker, knock on Akka's door. I wonder who Akka is. And who is So So Joe? So So Joe, the So So Man, wore a So So suit with a So So shoe. So So Joe, the So So Man, lived in a So So house with a So So view. And when you asked So So Joe, the So So Man, how do you do? So So Joe, the So So Man, would say to you, just so so, nothing new. People are always saying things like, how do you do? How are you? How's it going? You know, I went to the doctor's the other day and she said, how are you? And I said, well, I keep forgetting things. And she said, what did you say? And I said, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Dr. Stickles tickled me and I began to giggle. Dr. Stickles tickled harder than I began to wiggle. When Dr. Stickles tickled my toes, I laughed and so would you. Then I tickled Dr. Stickles because he was ticklish too. Imagine that, tickling the doctor. That'd make him jump. Anna Eli, she jumped with surprise. The surprise was so quick, it played her a trick. The trick was so rare, she jumped in a chair. The chair was so frail, she jumped in a pail. The pail was so wet, she jumped in a net. The net was so small, she jumped on the ball. The ball was so round, she jumped on the ground. And ever since then, she's been turning around. Years ago, we had a cat who used to get hold of balls of wool and run round and round the room till the wool was wound round and round the legs of the table and chairs. And then she'd go over to her plate and pull all the food off the plate and eat it where no one could see her. Look at pretty little Kitty, gnawing on a bone. How I wish she'd eat some fish and leave my leg alone. Now here's someone who likes cinnamon cake. Zelba Zinnemann, she loved cinnamon. She loved cinnamon cake. Zelba Zinnemann ate so much cinnamon, she got her belly ache. Then Zelba Zinnemann sniffed the cinnamon, got her nose all red. Zelba Zinnemann, nose full of cinnamon, had to go to bed. Of course, if you can't have some cake, you could always have a biscuit. And if you can't have a biscuit, then maybe you could have a jam sandwich. And if you can't have a jam sandwich, then maybe you could try this. If you're not good at cooking, can't fry or bake, here's something you can always make. Take three very ordinary slices of bread, stack the second on the first one's head, stack the third on top of that. There, your three slices lying pat. So what have you got? A bread sandwich. That's what? Why not? When I was a boy, we, we didn't have things like automatic mixers and blenders. These days, we, we use them to make soups, but you can use them to make things like chocolate milkshake. Into the blender, chocolate. One spoon, two spoon, three spoon, what the heck, four spoon, five spoon, now the milk, glug, glug, slurp. Scoop in the ice cream, plop, plop, turn the switch, shake, shake, slurp, gurgle, gurgle, pour into glass, glug, glug, ah. But before I get down to having a milkshake, I think I'd like to have a great big bowl of spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, you're wonderful stuff. I love you, spaghetti, I can't get enough. You're covered with sauce and you're sprinkled with cheese. Spaghetti, spaghetti, oh, give me some, please. Spaghetti, spaghetti, piled high in a mound. You wiggle, you wriggle, you squiggle around. There's slurpy spaghetti all over my plate. Spaghetti, spaghetti, I think you're great. Spaghetti, spaghetti, I love you a lot. You're slishy, you're sloshy, delicious and hot. I gobble you down, oh, I can't get enough. Spaghetti, spaghetti, you're wonderful stuff. Do you know what's the hardest thing in the world to do? It's trying to answer people's questions while you're eating a bowl of spaghetti. Next time you're wrestling with spaghetti, try saying this. 
A man said to me, can you sing? I said, sing? He said, yes. I said, who? He said, you. I said, me? He said, yes. I said, when? He said, now. I said, now? He said, yes. I said, no. He said, oh. Now, if that's no trouble, try saying it very quickly. A man said to me, can you sing? I said, sing. He said, yes. I said, who? He said, you. I said, me. He said, yes. I said, when? He said, now. I said, now. He said, yes. I said, no. He said, oh. Well, I'm out of breath. Like this person here. I'm running in a circle and my feet are getting sore, and my head is spinning, spinning, as it's never spun before. I am dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Oh, I cannot bear much more. I'm trapped in a revolving, revolving, revolving door. Now, I wonder how you could get out of that fix, stuck in a revolving door. Someone would have to come and help you, I think. You'd have to shout, Help! Help! I'm stuck. And then hope for the best, like Obadiah. Who's Obadiah? Here's Obadiah. Fire, fire, says Obadiah. Where, where, says Mrs. Pear. Behind the rocks, says Dr. Fox. Put it out, says Mr. Trout. I've no bucket, says Lord McTucket. Use my shoe, says I owe you. Use my shoe? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be much good. I know how that could end up. A great big argument. Everyone shouting at everyone else. Like these two. My little old man and I fell out. I'll tell you what was all about. I had money and he had none. And that's the way the row begun. Well, we all have arguments because we're all different. Sometimes you hear people say, well, it takes all sorts. I used to think they were talking about licorice all sorts. But they meant that there's lots of different people in the world and that's the way the world is. Maybe you know some people like these. Here am I, little jumping Joan. When nobody's with me, I'm all alone. Here am I, little jumping Joan, when nobody's with me, I'm all alone. Or the rat catcher. I can catch rats and voles, and anything that lives in holes, I can catch rats and voles, rats and voles and weasels. But what about Miss Pauntsfort? Miss Pauntsfort sang at the top of her voice, sing tiri liri liri down the lane. And nobody knew what she sang about. Sing tiri liri liri all the same. Dan, Dan, the funny wee man, washed his face in the frying pan, combed his hair with the leg of the chair. Dan, Dan, the funny wee man. Mrs. Brown went to town riding on a pony. When she came back, she lost her hat and called on Miss Maloney. Little tee wee, he went to sea in an open boat. And while afloat, the little boat bended. My story's ended. Mabel Murple's house was purple, so was Mabel's hair. Mabel Murple's cat was purple, purple everywhere. Mabel Murple's bike was purple, so were Mabel's ears. And when Mabel Murple cried, she cried terrible purple tears. Mabel cried as she stood by the window. Mabel cried as she stood by the door. Mabel cried, and her tears filled three buckets. Mabel cried as she sat on the floor. Mabel cried for, oh, so many hours. Mabel cried for, oh, so many more. With her tears, then, she watered her flowers. With the rest, then, she mopped up the floor. Now, I don't suppose you've ever cried that much. At least I hope not. Or you might cry into the tape machine and ruin this tape. Don't cry on the tape, will you? Oh, look, I've come to the end of this side. It's time to turn me over. Come on board the sugar train. Going downhill from Mundu for sugar. 
making a noise as it climbs the hill, the railway, going downhill from Mandu for sugar, making a noise as it climbs the hill, the railway, going downhill from Mandu for sugar, making a noise as it climbs the hill. Ah, ee, ooh, ooh. Well, it's easy going up hills on a train or in a car, but not so easy when you have to walk. The hill was steep, so steep I couldn't climb it. I tried and I tried, but I couldn't do it, so I came down for a rest. I think going down is best. I like it when you go away for a holiday and you've been going along for ages and ages and suddenly you see the sea. Goodness gracious, fiddle dee dee, somebody's grandmother's out at sea. Just where the breakers begin to bound, somebody's grandmother's bobbing around. Up on the shore, the people shout, give us a hand and we'll pull you out. No, says Granny, I'm right as rain, and I'm going to go on till I get to Spain. Well, if Granny really means it, and she's going to swim all the way to Spain, she might meet Nicholas Naylor. Nicholas Naylor, the deep blue sailor, sailed the sea as a master tailor. He sewed for the captain, he sewed for the crew, he sewed up the kit bags and hammocks too. He sewed up a serpent, he sewed up a shark, he sewed up a sailor in a bag of dark. How do you like your work, Master Taylor? So, 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 said Nicholas Naylor. So out at sea is Granny oh, and Nicholas Naylor. Now then, you two, if you ever, 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 if you ever, ever, ever meet a whale, you must never, 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 you must never, never, never touch its tail. For if you ever, 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 if you ever, ever, ever touch its tail, you will never, 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 you will never, never meet another whale. I'm going to try and say that again as fast as I can. If you ever, 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 if you ever, ever, ever meet a whale, you must never, 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 you must never, never, never touch its tail. For if you ever, 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 if you ever, ever, ever touch its tail, you'll never, 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 you'll never, never meet another whale. Whew. And they'd better watch out for the rain as well. Mind you, if Granny's in the water, she can't get much wetter, can she? There's no colour in the rain. It's only water, wet and plain. It makes damp spots upon my book and splashes on my new dress, look. But puddles in the rainy weather glisten like a peacock's feather. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. Rain, rain, go away. Don't come back till Christmas Day. Rain, rain, pour down. But not a drop on our town. Have you noticed that when people go out in the rain they get all huddled up and you can scarcely see who they are? Like this. An umbrella and a raincoat are walking and talking together. An umbrella and a raincoat are walking and talking together. But it doesn't rain forever. Even in the rainiest places, the sun comes out and <laughs> then we've got something else to moan about. I can't take the sun no more, man. I buy 50 cans of cola. I take my clothes off, but I'm still hot. I might as well take off my skin. It's so, 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 so hot, man. I just can't take the sun no more. I might as well take myself apart before the sun melts me. It's so, 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 so hot, man. Just can't take the sun, man. Get out of the sun, sit in the shade and just play around. Maybe on a beach somewhere. Uh-oh. Sand in your fingernails. Sand between your toes. Sand in your ear holes. Sand up your nose. Sand in your sandwiches. Sand on your bananas. Sand in your bed at night. Sand in your pyjamas. Sand in your sandals. Sand in your hair. Sand in your knickers. Sand everywhere. Well, that's summer. Then summer goes, and we get autumn. And then autumn goes, and... The north wind doth blow, and we shall have snow. 
And what will poor Robin do then, poor thing? He'll sit in a barn and keep himself warm and hide his head under his wing, poor thing. And do you know, the more it snows, tiddly-pom, the more it goes, tiddly-pom, the more it goes, tiddly-pom, on snowing. And nobody knows, tiddly-pom, how cold my toes, tiddly-pom, how cold my toes, tiddly-pom, are growing. And somebody's made a snowman. What does a snowman eat? What does a snowman drink? What does a snowman dream? What does a snowman think? I don't think I've seen a snowman eat anything, but I've definitely seen a dog eating. Our dog Fred ate the bread. Our dog Dash ate the hash. Our dog Pete ate the meat. Our dog Davy ate the gravy. Our dog Toffee ate the coffee. And the worst from the first. Our dog Fido ate the pie dough. There was a little dog and he had a little tail and he used to wag, wag, wag it. But whenever he was sad because he had been bad, on the ground he would drag, drag, drag it. He had a little nose, as of course you would suppose, and on it was a muzz, muzz, muzzle. And to get it off he had tried till a tear stood in his eye, but he found it a puzz, puzz, puzzle. Those dogs need a run around before they get up to any more tricks. Go on, out you go. Into the garden. A little beetle passed me by. He didn't make much fuss. He ran around my garden like a tiny yellow bus. And watch out for the gerbil. My gerbil doesn't bite, but if you poke him, then he might. And listen to this. The big brown hen and Mrs. Duck went walking out together. They talked about all sorts of things, the farmyard and the weather. But all I heard was cluck, 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 and quack, quack, quack from Mrs. Duck and the hedgehog. Someone stole the hedgehog we only knew as Jack. I used to trim his toenails and scratch his little back. I wonder how hedgehogs talk to each other. Chit-chat, wigwag, rick-rack. Zigzag, knick knack, goo gaw, riff raff, seesaw, criss cross, flip flop, ding dong, tip top, sing song, mish mash, king kong, bong. Now, if you're going out and it's raining, or if you're going out and it's very sunny, then you know what you're going to have to do, don't you? Wear a hat. I won't, no, I won't, no, I won't do that. I don't want to, I don't have to, no, I won't wear that hat. I hate it, yes, I hate it, yes, I hate, hate, hate. You can't make me, I don't want to, I don't care if we're late. Yes, I'm naughty, yes, I'm naughty, yes, I know, no, no, but I won't wear that hat, so it's no, no, no. And once you get into a sulk like that, anything can happen. Piggy to Joey. Piggy to Joe, yes, that's what I was, Piggy to Joe. Will he come back again? Oh, no, 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 oh, how I wish I hadn't been, Piggy to Joe. So now you're on your own for a bit. Went to the garden, picked up a pin, asked who was out, asked who was in. Nobody in, nobody out, down in the garden, walking about. Today I saw a little worm wriggling on his belly. Perhaps you'd like to come inside and see what's on the telly. Back indoors, we built a ship upon the stairs, all made of the back bedroom chairs, and filled it full of sofa pillows to go a-sailing on the billows. We took a saw and several nails and water in the nursery pails. And Tom said, let us also take an apple and a slice of cake which was enough for Tom and me to go a-sailing on till tea. We sailed along for days and days and had the very best of plays, but Tom fell out and hurt his knee, so there was no one left but me. Me on my own again, mucking about. Plastic belt, elastic belt, stretch, 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 fantastic belt. 
Plastic belt, elastic belt, stretch, 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 fantastic belt. The little boy next door at number 74 has got a top that doesn't stop. That's what I go to number 74 for. The people who are new at number 72 have got lots of toys for little boys, so I often go to number 72 too. Well, you can play with toys, but I like playing with words. Whipper, snapper, rooty, tooty, helter, skelter, tooty, fruity. Have a wing ding, silly billy. Lickety split, don't shally shilly. Niminy piminy, willy nilly. Hocus pocus, there's a dear. Hippity hoppity, hurry scurry. Mumbo jumbo, don't you worry. Hurdy gurdy plays by ear. Pops a jim jam, fuddy duddy. Namby pamby is dear muddy. Pops a hunky dory fooler muddy, she does hula hula. Be an eager beaver, Beulah. See if you can say that one. Here goes. Whipper snapper rooty tooty, helter skelter, tooty fruity. Have a wing ding, silly billy. Lickety split, don't shally shilly. Niminy piminy, willy nilly. Hocus pocus, there's a dear. Hippity hoppity, hurry scurry, mumbo jumbo, don't you worry. Hurdy gurdy plays by ear. Pops a jim jam, fuddy duddy. Namby pamby is dear muddy. Pops a hunky dory fooler. Muddy she does hula hula. Be an eager beaver, Beulah. Now, that's enough playing. Time for bed. No. Have a bath first. Have you noticed? that if you stay in the bath for a very long time, your skin goes all crinkly. After my bath, I try, try, try to wipe myself till I'm dry, dry, dry. Hands to wipe and fingers and toes and two wet legs and a shiny wet nose. Just think how much less time I'd take if I were a dog and could shake, shake, shake. Go to bed, Tom. Go to bed, Tom. Tired or not, Tom? Go to bed, Tom. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John, went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. I like lying in bed at night, with the curtains open so I can see the sky. Brighter, brighter shine, you moon. Brighter, brighter, shine, you moon. I'll follow the trail to the hot lands. I'll follow the trail to the hot lands. Rocks, rocks to step on. Rocks, rocks to step on. Bamboo, bamboo to hold to. Bamboo, bamboo to hold to. Silverly, silverly over the trees. The moon drifts by on a runaway breeze. Dozily, dozily, deep in her bed, a little girl dreams with a moon in her head. Late last night I lay in bed, driving buses in my head. Late last night I lay in bed, driving buses in my head. I saw a star slide down the sky, blinding the north as it went by. Too burning and too quick to hold, too lovely to be bought or sold. Good only to make wishes on, and then forever to be gone. The moon out there, the sun out there, the world out there, the whole galaxy out there, and me stuck in my bedroom. <laughs>